Da, 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 na, 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 na. Shampoo Road. This is a special shampoo road. This is about my escape from witches. This is Dr. Cheese. He's going to stay with me tonight. Ooh, that worked better than I thought it would. This all happened about uh, five years ago. Oh man, this thing's spinning like crazy. <laughs> I was drinking. This is like five years ago. This is about three. I got notes here, all right? Three different girls I encountered that I believe were working together to put a witchcraft spell on me. Escape from satanic pagan witch spell. I was still drinking. I was still doing drugs and I was like wrecked. This is in uh, 2015. So the first girl. Keep in mind, I hooked up with two of these girls. One of them I did not sleep with. The first one I didn't sleep with. And I think that's a vital part of the spell. That if I hadn't slept with all three of them, their soul, my soul might have been theirs. I've got Dr. Cheese with her. I don't know what I'm out here. I might even vape on camera today because this is a spooky, stressful uh, thing I gotta talk about here. I'm trying to quit vaping, but well. So the first girl, all three of these girls hit up my inbox. Uh, usually as a guy, you know you gotta kinda go through a bunch of hoopla to talk to girls and you know that's just how it is. We gotta work to get girls, girls, ow, ah, it's hot. It's a little easier for girls to, you know. Anyway, so all three of these girls hit up my inbox. The first one, I'm just on Christmas vacation and this girl's clingy as heck, just all up in my inbox, hanging out with me, just all over me when I'm in front of my friends, and I'm on vacation, I'm like, listen, I can't date you, I'm going back down south, you know, like, and she was like, F you, ah, like, really mean and really crazy that, you know, that she couldn't get down with Uncle Pee Pee, you know? Ugh. So the second girl, this is two years later, the second girl, you know, this girl owns a witchcraft store, right? And, uh, oh man, am I losing my flame here? Man, that was my main Zaz. So the second girl owned a witchcraft store. And, uh, you know, she actually had like weird stubbly kind of thing on her face. I feel bad, but I don't know, I think that has something to do with witches, you know? Like, she was doing something she wasn't supposed to be. And, uh, you know, <laughs> That wasn't working for her. And <laughs> Man, I can't read my notes now. So this girl is just clingy too. Real clingy. And then like, I like don't, I'm not that interested. I was drunk, so I hooked up through her like an idiot. But I'm just not interested, you know? And uh, so she's like, I talked to a psychic and she said, you're gonna leave me. And I was like, get out of here you know this is before I believed in any of that stuff I was like get out of here you gotta be joking like I don't believe that that's that's a bunch of hoopla so then you know I left her and stopped it you know talking to her so then I started dating the third chick I was still drinking this girl I ended up dating for a couple of years so and this girl hit up my inbox too I'm like this is e like what's up with like these girls hitting me up lately like this is a little easy huh and uh you know what I mean? Like, and I was still drinking with this girl. Ooh. And, uh, you know, we were partying. And then, like, I was talking to some other girls on the internet. And then, which is stupid, because I was drunk, you know? And I was talking to some other girls and being, like, a cheaty, you know, F-boy. And then she found out and, like, flipped out on me, kicked me out of the house. But she was mean. Like, she spit at me. And, like, <laughs> crazy. So, like... Here's what I did. During a, uh, to sober up, during a blizzard, I rode my bike in a blizzard with my two favorite guitars strapped to my back. I went to the pawn shop and I pawned them to get enough money to get my Honda on the road, get a job, and get my girlfriend back all in the same day. You know, I was driven by desperation to change my life, to stop all this partying and drinking, to like be a good person again, be a good dad, be a good boyfriend. So I sobered up. So like, you know, I thought it was gonna be all right with this girl. I'm like, all right, she, uh, 
you know, you know, it was alright, we had a lot in common, but she was really into satanic stuff. She had a satanic Bible, a lot of taxidermied animals, a lot of dead animals around the place. She had this stone carving of this block she found in the woods, all this creepy stuff in the house. So then, like, I'm still, you know, I'm sober now, but I, I still don't feel, the, like, quite on top of my game. And like I'm slowly, you know, quitting cigarettes, quitting monster energy drinks. And then like my buddy told me about the pineal gland thing. And you know, he's like, yo dude, you gotta cleanse your pineal gland. So I, you know, I did all the stuff he told me with the diatomaceous earth, the quitting meat, the distilled water. I have other videos on that if you're interested. So then I really, really started feeling good. And then I don't think she liked that because you know, our frequencies were different. She was drinking even more. You know, I remember one time I was meditating in my room. I had a little room I meditated in. And it was like 5 in the morning, right? And we were supposed to go to my friend's picnic the next day on the 4th of July. And she busted down the door. She broke the door off the hinges. And she's like, what the heck are you doing? And I was like, yo, I'm trying to be peaceful. Are you kidding me? Get out of here. Yeah, get out of here with that, you know? So then, like, I was driving to my buddy's house to go to the picnic. I'm like, I didn't take her. I'm like, you're too drunk to go. Like, I'm going by myself. And then I saw the Mayan calendar on the back of a Jeep. So I was like, yo, I, I'm going to go. I'm going to Virginia Beach. My buddies are in Virginia Beach hanging out. They want to hang out with me. This girl is starting to drive me nuts with her drinking and, like, being crazy to me. She was still talking to her ex-boyfriends and all this. She wouldn't let me hang out with barely any of my friends. She wouldn't let me talk to any girls, even if they're my friends. I saw that Mayan calendar, and it was like a sign. I was like, yo! So I turned the car around, and I just drove. I drove all the way to Virginia Beach to hang out with my boys. It was the most liberating thing I've ever done in my life. The most liberating thing. It was amazing. She called me when I was in Delaware. She's like, where are you? I was like, I'm in Delaware. I'm going to Virginia Beach to hang out with my buddies. You're driving me nuts. They're like, I've tried talking to you. I've tried to get you to quit alcohol like I did, but you just didn't listen. So I, I got to be free. I'm sorry. And she freaked the fuck out. So, and then like my car hit 222, 222 miles on the way down. How about that, huh? It was like a sign. So anyway, I had a great time down there and I came back up. I'm like, listen, if you want to get stuff, you know, if you want to work things out, you really got to chill with the alcohol here, all right? And uh, so, you know, we tried it, making it work again. And then from doing the pineal gland stuff, I was feeling real good at this point. I think I got to turn that down a little, hold on. <laughs> All right, trying to have some spooky music, but uh, so, <laughs> so anyway, whatever. I, I'm doing really good, I'm raising my vibes, and then she's just not doing it. And, like, I felt bad, because she was, I felt like she was a good person, but she just wasn't on the same page as me, you know? So, and then, I'm doing, I got the water distiller at this point, and like, I felt so good and clean, I felt like I was on one hit of acid all the time. I felt so crisp and clear, and my clarity was off the chain. And I was just like, yeah, dude, I feel real good. You don't want to do this stuff? You don't want to, come on. Like, so my buddy Sam and this girl Marika, they started showing me flat earth. And then that's when my mind was blown, blown, right? I was like, oh man, this truth or stuff is real. And then she still wasn't down. She's like, you're talking to this girl. Don't talk to her. You want to have her. Ah. I'm like, yo, she's got a husband, man. She's just cool. Like, come on. So then anyway, I went to go hang out with my buddy Sam and help him break into his own car because uh, he liked his keys out and I did this crazy stunt with a, a paint pole and through the sunroof and the sunroof was up in a crack and I got it so she calls me and she's like where are you you're hanging out with that girl aren't you and I was like no dude I'm hanging out with my friend what the heck so I get home and she's like trying to go through my phone like grabbing it out of my hand she's like yeah remember don't you I'm like yeah we're just hanging out and then oh yeah I forgot about this so I or before that like I was still getting my vibes up and she walked by me and she's like, I stabbed myself in the finger all the way down to the bone. And it hurt so bad, but I had a really good day. And it didn't even phase me. I didn't even think about it until like a couple weeks later. Like it didn't even pop in my head. And then it hit my head and I was like, yo, what did she just say? Are you kidding me? Keep in mind, this girl has satanic Bibles and is like really into that. I was taking pictures with her hand, doing that stuff. And like, I'm not like that anymore. Like I started reading the Bible. I started liking, you know, spirituality stuff. So I'm like, yo, what the heck? So like right before I left, she was getting all crazy. And like, I've been to jail because of a girl. And like, I'm not going that, you know, I'm not going through that again. So she tried touching me and everything. I was like, nope, nope. I grabbed my water distiller 
And like, right as I was leaving, I remember she, she made a voodoo doll. She made this little voodoo doll with an acorn for a head. And then right as I was leaving right then, I saw the head broken off of it. I was like, dude, that's wild. And, and I remembered another thing. Something else popped in my head. For that second girl that said she saw a psychic, and it was, her psychic said, oh, Pat's gonna leave you. And I was like, that's bullshit. When I was in my meditation room, I felt like a cold breeze go by me and I just heard, he's gonna leave you. He's gonna leave you. Like a whisper. And it whispered past my ear, he's gonna leave you. And I was like, yo, I, did I just hear that? Like, I think, you know, the psychic, I believe in psychics now, obviously. So I think maybe this psychic projected into the future or something and was with me or saw me and or, you know what I mean like so th I think that stuff is real like now I believe in that stuff so all that put together you know what I mean like I'm up in my vibes she's not like I'm, I'm trying to feel good and, and then like every time I was around her when I started feeling good like I want a vacation with my family and come back and it just felt like she was vampiring my energy like just sucking it off of me like she gave me a a hat for my birthday and then the whole time she's like oh let me get a picture with you because my, my friend made it and I, I want to take pictures for his website and show off his certain I was like is this pic hat for me or for your friend or you want to promote him I'm like it, like I felt really bad because I felt like she was a good person but you know she, she was driving me nuts and then I just had to go and then I was with my buddy and then all this stuff just like clicked in my head and I was like yo I, I find out all three of these girls hung out they're all friends. One had a witchcraft store. The psychic thing, the voodoo doll, her pricking herself in the finger and saying she had a good die, the satanic Bible, all the taxidermy animals. Oh yeah, and I forgot she had this giant Alaskan Malamute. I call it the Hound of Hell. Like I ended up loving this dog, but it was like her guardian. And she never trained it right, so it was like super violent. The thing bit me in the eye socket. And like the whole time I was with her, I just was a hard time. And like this dog ruled my life. Like it would always be near my spot in the bed. It made me hard, hard just doing anything. Like when I first started staying at her house, I had to lock myself in her room and pee in Gatorade bottles. And then eventually I figured out like I could lead a trail of cheese and distract the dog to get out of the house to like get away from it. So, you know, all, all this, and then it, it was just too cool, you know, too convenient, you know, like, so I definitely believe in witches and the power of witches. Like, I think all three of these girls were having some energy harvest on me. And it's just super weird that they all knew each other. I knew they all knew each other, like, after I had slept the two of them. So I'm grateful I didn't sleep with all of them. You know, and I'm grateful I got away with that. Because my new girlfriend, she's been my friend since 2000. We've been friends for 23 years. We've been dating for two, going on three now. You know, we both read the Bible and the spiritual stuff, and she's awesome to me. She's such a good girl. She's so th kind and thoughtful and, like, giving, and, you know, I am blessed. I am grateful. You know, we're on an adventure together. We're getting a camper to get. We live in a camper right now, but we're getting one so we could drive across the country and, you know, do some work camp and stuff and, you know, have some freedom. Like, it felt like I was in a jail cell with that other girl. Like, again, I feel bad. She's probably a good person. It's something, you know, her... Her parents both died, and she would get drunk and yell at me about her parents being dead. Like, I'm sorry I listened to you, and I'm, you know, empathizing with you, but after a while, I can't sympathize with it anymore because it's like you're yelling at me for it. And, yeah, yo, know, so I'm grateful I'm away from that. So I believe in witches. I believe in some weird voodoo stuff and, like, witchcraft, and so I am not down with that no more. You know what I mean? I still like metal. I use metal to get myself out of, like, lower vibrations sometimes, like... If you're sad or depressed or like feeling guilt or shame, put on some metal and like sometimes metal's angry, but <laughs> anger's above all that, you know? So thanks for listening to my creepy witch story. I hope I, you know, I was trying to read my notes and it got kind of dark out here and I hope I got everything here. Let's see if I forgot anything here. No, I pretty much got it all. I pretty much feel like I was in an energy harvest and uh i escaped it so i'm grateful so you know dr cheese says uh adios much love god bless and snack you later shampoo road over and out <laughs> yeah which is real stuff man you can laugh all you want but it's real scary stuff 
I hope I never go through that again. Actually, I won't because because I think I raised my vibes enough to be conscious and alert of it. I'm always skeptical of anything now, though. So, so <laughs> yeah. All right. Have a swell weekend, people. Stay witch-free.